Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. True Gamer for Real here for you. And I'm going to show you real quick how you can force update uh, for version 28 on the Oculus Quest 2 here. Uh, this is basically sideloading it from some files that are found on the Reddit mega thread. I do want you to be aware that I am not responsible for anything that you do to your Quest. This is not an official way to download the update. Uh, basically, this is from users that already have the update who have uploaded the files to the website. Uh, this is pretty safe though. I have done it myself, but I just want to throw that little disclaimer out there. If you do not know what you're doing, you should probably not do this. Uh, but I am going to show you how to do it if you want to attempt to. Just once again, I cannot be responsible for anything that you may or may not screw up. So, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to download ADB. Uh, the link in the description there and the step-by-step -step guide will have it for you. So, once that's loaded up in your web browser, you just want to click the newest version, which is going to be uh, 1.4.3. And that should download right there for you. Um, also, what you want to do is go ahead and install it. So just click it and run it. This little administrator fast boot system will pull up. Just go ahead and hit Y to install everything. All right, then you're gonna click next on the next prompt and then you're going to finish. I uh, should say all done in the corner and you're all done with installing ADB. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is go to the mega thread uh, it's going to put you at the top of the thread here, so you want to go ahead and scroll down. Basically, this is all the things that version uh, 28 does for you. Uh, most importantly, if you ask me, is the 120 hertz. Now, the air link feature is not yet in this update. It is just some files in there for you, but the app to download it is not in there, so don't be looking for it. Uh, but you want to scroll down here until you see the Webhead VR moderator. Uh, you want to download this link to the zip file. Alright, once that's downloaded, go ahead and show it in the folder here. And that's basically what you're looking at. Uh, this is the zip file right here. You do not need to unzip it. Don't worry about that. Okay, so now that that's done, you want to go ahead and come down to your command prompt and type CMD, or should I say the Windows search button, and then type CMD for the command prompt. Then you just want to type ADB in the command prompt. Oh, I'm sorry, I type ABD, ADB. And you should have all kinds of text come up here. That means you successfully installed ADB. Alright, with the next step that I really can't show you here, you want to go ahead and power on your Quest 2, but you want to power it on holding the power button and the volume down button at the same time. This is going to put you into a debug safe mode that I can show you a picture of here. And basically you just want to scroll down with your uh, up and down arrows till you select side load update. Then you just want to press the power button once you're on side load update one time and then the screen should go black on you. So once the screen is black you're, you take your headset off and your LED should be glowing purple. Uh, if it's glowing purple, you've selected the side load option correctly, and that's all you have to do as far as that goes. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and plug in your actual headset into your PC via the link cable. So, let me do that real quick for you just so I can show you exactly how it looks. All right, and you should get a little windows chime on your computer that your device is plugged in now make sure that you do not unplug this cord whatsoever 
while you're doing this process. Next, what you want to do to make sure that the computer and the command prompt is reading the Quest 2 properly, you want to type ADB space devices and click enter. You should have your Quest 2 code somewhere in here or basically the serial number to your actual Quest 2. If you see that, so far so good for you. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and back in the command prompt, type ADB sideload, and then you actually want to take that whole entire zip file and just drag it straight in to the command prompt. You can see it's ADB sideload, and when you drag it in there for wherever you downloaded it to, it's right here, dot zip. Then just press enter. Oh, I'm sorry, you may have to put a space in there. Space, drop it in, enter. All right, so yeah, like I said, make sure that you type in ADB sideload, then space, dr drag it in, hit enter. It'll give you a, you might have seen it really quick there. It'll give you a percentage of how fast it's uploaded. Once it's completely uploaded, you will see on your Quest 2 that it's starting to boot up properly. This may take a minute or two. Uh, sometimes it takes a while, especially if you haven't done it before. Uh, it can take up to 10 minutes when you first d initially do it. All right, then you can pretty much just close everything out. Now, there is a few things that I do want to show you. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Quest 2 here. All right, so now that you're back into your headset, we'll go ahead and show you where the features are. So you just want to click Settings. Then you want to go to About. Just a minute, it did work. The version should say 28 here. Uh, so that successfully is done for you. Then you want to go to experimental features. Now, what you want to do is scroll all the way down, and you should see 120 hertz refresh rate right here. You just go ahead and click it on. If you do not see 120 hertz refresh rate, go ahead and scroll back to the top of the menu and just, just click reset all to default. All right, this may reset your headset. If it does, go ahead and come back to this experimental feature. Scroll down, and you should see the 120 hertz refresh rate. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you sideload the version 28 update. The rollouts. Um, just be careful what you're doing. You can screw this up. Um, other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more great content. Have a great day.